In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 5 best DSLR cameras on the market this year. Like always, we try to include products that could work for someone on a strict budget, all the way up to experienced professionals. So whether you're looking for something cheap or looking for professional grade camera equipment, we'll have an option for you on this list. So if you want to find out the best DSLR camera, be sure to stay tuned. In 5th place, we have the Nikon D3500, which we consider the best DSLR camera under $500. The Nikon D3500 measures 4.9 by 2.8 by 3.8 inches with a total weight of just 13.8 ounces, making it one of the lightest entry-level models on the market. This camera's simple controls and guide mode make it perfect for beginners who are just starting out in the world of photography. The 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor means that you can expect high-quality pictures with a great amount of detail. There is no 4K video capability, but you can shoot in Full HD at a resolution of 1920 by 1080 add up to 60 frames per second. The video playback is fairly smooth and doesn't look bad at all. While this camera doesn't offer any built-in Wi-Fi, you will still have Bluetooth for wirelessly transferring your photos and videos. This camera also has a better battery life than its predecessor. You can use it up to 1,550 shots before having to recharge. Its highlight features include, it captures 1080p video. You can shoot smooth, full HD video at 60 frames per second with mono aural sound. It also has a SnapBridge app. The mobile app that works with this camera will allow you to share photos with any compatible smartphone or tablet. And it has Bluetooth capability which is built in, making it easy to transfer photos and videos wirelessly. The pros we noticed were, it has a simple design. The basic design of this camera makes it a great option for beginners. It also has a responsive autofocus. The innovative autofocus system lets you take clear and detailed pictures faster. The con we noticed was, the absence of 4K video was a bit disappointing, but not surprising at this price point. Coming in at just under $500, the Nikon D3500 is the best camera under $500. It offers a simple design that makes it ideal for beginners, and the pictures it takes are very sharp and detailed. It is a basic point-and-shoot model with some powerful and useful features that you will be sure to love. In fourth place, we have the Nikon D5600. The Nikon D5600 features an impressive 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor and an optical low-pass filter that means even more detailed pictures. This camera also featured the X-Speed 4 image processor with a native sensitivity range of ISO 100 to 25600. It is more than capable of taking good-looking pictures in a variety of lighting conditions. The optical viewfinder that this camera uses offers 95% coverage, which is to be expected with an entry-level DSLR model like this one. The 3.2-inch display has a very angled design with touch capabilities and a 1,037,000 dot resolution. You should never have any problems finding the perfect viewing angle. This camera's time-lapse mode function lets you create time-lapse videos within the camera itself. It also offers a function that will allow you to smooth out the exposure for more consistent lighting. The built-in Bluetooth capability of this camera lets you automatically transfer your photos to a mobile device of your choosing. There is also the SnapBridge app, which you can use to wirelessly transfer movies and take still shots remotely. Its highlight features include the X-Speed 4 image processor. The new image processor in this camera makes it capable of taking quality photos in many different lighting environments. It also has Full HD video. You have the ability to record 1080p video at 60 frames per second. And the Vary Angle display is another great feature. This camera's touchscreen Vary Angle display is easy to use and always allows for the best viewing angle. The pros we noticed were, it has great image quality. The 24.2 megapixel photos that this camera takes offer impressive clarity and detail. And it has a comfortable feel. The deep hand grip offers a comfortable and sturdy hold. Con we noticed was, the snap bridge app that this camera works with can be a little tricky to use. Coming in at just under $600, the Nikon D5600 is one of the best entry-level DSLR options on the market. It takes amazing quality pictures and offers a great touchscreen display that can be viewed from multiple angles. In third place, we have the Canon EOS Rebel T7i. 
The Canon EOS Rebel T7i features a 24 megapixel CMOS APS-C sensor, so it should come as no surprise that it takes great quality pictures. It also has a rather impressive autofocus system with 45 AF points, which is far better than its predecessor. The camera can shoot continuously at speeds of up to 6 frames per second. The battery life has also been improved, bumped up to 820 shots per charge. All of the external controls on this camera can be identified very easily, making it a good choice for beginners. The quick control buttons allows you instant access to the settings, so you can bypass any confusing menus. The body of this camera is fairly compact with a nice deep hand grip for comfortable holding. It measures 5.2 by 3.9 by 3 inches with a total weight of only 17.1 ounces. The 3.2 inch display has a touchscreen LCD vary angle design that is very useful when shooting. One of the best things about this camera is its amazing performance even in low light environments. It has noise reduction options that can be disabled at any time. Its highlight features include its wireless connectivity. You can transfer files easily with this camera's built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC connectivity capabilities. It also has Feature Assistant. The Feature Assistant user interface makes using this camera very simple. It also includes Movie Electronic IS. The Movie Electronic IS 6 feature minimizes the blurring effect from camera shake. Its pros are, it has great low-light handling. This camera can take beautiful pictures even in low-light conditions. And the full-featured mobile app that works with this camera gives you all sorts of additional options. The con we noticed was, this camera only has an average battery life and could be a bit better. Coming in at about $850, the Canon EOS Rebel T7i may be an entry-level DSLR camera, but it is packed with useful features. It has numerous wireless connectivity options and can take detailed pictures in just about any lighting environment. Just wanted to mention, all the links to all of the products mentioned in the video will be in the description down below. These cameras do tend to go on sale, so be sure to check out those links for updated pricing on all the products mentioned. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notification to stay up to date with the latest in-camera gear as well as tips and tricks for photography and video. This list was created based on my personal experience with these products or very similar products, as well as hours of research. With all that out of the way, let's get back into the video. In second place, we have the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV. The Canon EOS 5D Mark IV has a completely new and very impressive 30.4 megapixel full-frame CMOS sensor. Its performance has been improved upon greatly since the previous model, and the dual-pixel RAW technology means unparalleled sharpness. It has the same native sensitivity of ISO 100 to 32,000 as the Mark III, but it's still nice to see. This camera's autofocus system allows it to perform exceptionally well, even in low-light situations. The 3.2-inch display offers 1,620,000 dots and a touchscreen interface. Unlike its predecessor, you can use the touchscreen interface to navigate through the menu and review pictures. While we really like the fact that you can capture 4K video with this camera, the 4096 by 2160 resolution is beyond amazing. There is also a full HD option that will allow you to shoot at 120 frames per second for great looking slow motion videos. There are external microphone and headphone ports on this camera. You will also get an HDMI mini output and USB 3.0 terminals. Its highlight features include, it has 4K video recording. You can shoot video in 4K at 30 frames per second or 24 frames per second. It also boasts a touchscreen monitor. This camera's touchscreen LCD monitor is very bright and sharp. It also has a full frame CMOS sensor. The new full frame CMOS sensor that this camera uses means more detailed pictures that look amazing. The pros are, it has an advanced autofocus system. The new and improved AF system makes it easier to take high quality pictures faster than ever. It also has connectivity options. There is built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity options that allow you to transfer pictures to your mobile device quickly and efficiently. The con we noticed is, the ISO range of this camera isn't that bad, but it hasn't increased since the previous model. Coming in at around $2,800, the Canon EOS 5D Mark IV is one of the best DSLR camera options you will find. While it is quite pricey, you certainly get your money's worth. 
it takes ultra high quality photos and video. In first place, we have the Nikon D850, which we consider the best overall DSLR camera. The Nikon D850 offers a high 45.7 resolution full frame image sensor with no optical low pass filter. You can shoot continuously at 9 frames per second at full resolution with full autofocus performance. This camera allows for time lapse movie making at 8K and 4K, so you get a remarkable level of sharpness and detail each time. It has an ISO range of 64 to 25,000, which is expandable to 32 to 120,400. The viewfinder is wider and brighter than most other models on the market. The 3.2 inch display has a touchscreen interface and tilting design that allows you to get the perfect viewing angle. It boasts a resolution of 2.4 million dots, which is pretty incredible all things considered. You can take about 1,800 shots with this camera before you need to worry about the battery dying. The autofocus system that this camera uses is excellent, offering 143 focus points. This makes it easier than ever to take beautiful pictures in a split second. Its highlight features include its time-lapse movies. The 8K6 and 4K time-lapse videos that you can take with this camera look great with incredible detail. It also has 4K Ultra video recording. You can record videos in 4K or slow motion up to 120 frames per second. The full frame image sensor is another great feature. This camera's image sensor has no optical low pass filter to enhance overall performance. The pros are, it has great image quality. The outstanding 45.7 megapixel resolution means that you always get the best possible quality pictures. It also boasts great autofocus. The autofocus engine this camera uses makes it easy to track moving subjects for the perfect photo every time. The con that we notice is, the live view focusing speed is a bit sluggish and slower than some of this camera's competitors. Coming in at around $3,300, the Nikon D850 is a well-designed DSLR camera that offers spectacular photo detail and resolution. Its 4K Ultra videos look stunning, and the autofocus performance will blow your mind. Alright, that's all for this video. If you're new to the channel and want to stay up to date with the latest and best in everything camera, photography, and filmmaking, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in updated pricing on all the products mentioned, be sure to check out the links in the description down below. I hope you guys keep creating, and I will see you in the next video.